Hi everyone, it's Wheeler. What's up, guys? It's Boom the Crane here. Today, I'm going to be doing my spoiler-free review of Star Wars Visions Season One. Now, let's get into it. Uh, so I finished. I actually watched this season like a week and a half ago. I started watching this season on the day it came out, and then I uh, I was still watching it like. Uh, the day after and then like I finished Friday morning but I, I just didn't have the time to actually do my spoiler free review of it so now I am doing my spoiler free review of season one um so this season for those of you who are unfamiliar with what Star Wars Visions is it's a non-canon Star Wars show um, that's like heavily, and it's it's animated too, and the animation is heavily, is heavily influenced by Western animation, so heavily influenced by anime. Um, and it's actually a really great show. Um, all of the uh, segments are very different. Um, and, you know, this is like an anthology series, so they're all, like, so random, like, compared to each other. Um, some of them, like, you know, like, you know, if no one, like, you know, told you it was Star Wars, you wouldn't think it was Star Wars. Because, you know, this is a very original show. It takes a very original approach to, uh, Star Wars. It takes a very unique approach on Star Wars, if that makes sense. Um, like I said, some of the shorts are better than others. I mean, some of the episodes are better than others. They're all great in my opinion, and they're all very original, but you know, there were some, I, I do have favorites, if that makes sense. I do have favorite episodes, and least favorite episodes. Um. I love, I love what they did with this show. Um, I love, I just love how original it is, and I love just everything about this show. It's just awesome and unique, and you know, it. It's just a very, just different and just fresh take on Star Wars, which I found very interesting. And I liked a lot of the uh, duels, especially lightsaber duels ex in this series, in this season, especially. Like out of all the things I liked, if that makes sense, the lightsaber duels were some of like the things I liked the most. Um, and I, I loved, I loved like all the very unique and compelling stories. Some were more compelling than others, but they were all compelling. And a lot of them have twists and turns. And I love how, um, I love the whole, like, Japanese cultural, um, influence on the series. It makes for some very interesting and beautiful settings and episodes, and, you know, I've just always been a fan of samurais and stuff, so. I love how, like, you know, in a lot of these episodes they took, you know, Jedis and made them into like samurai type figures, samurai type characters, which works very well. And the animation is beautiful. Um, it's very, the animation is very different in every episode, but in my opinion, it works every time. Um, these episodes aren't very long. The longest episode, they're usually only around like 13 minutes each. The longest an episode was, was like 18 minutes. That's still pretty short for an episode. Um, and this was just a very intriguing and just compelling and fresh take on Star Wars. And it was awesome. And the action was spectacular. The fighting was spectacular in each episode. Um, and just the animation was just, like I said, spectacular. Um, and it was just awesome. It's an awesome show. Um, it's not for everyone. But... It is an awesome show, in my opinion. Um, it's not the best Star Wars show ever. 
Um, it's not the best show ever either, but it's it's a perfect show in my opinion. Anyway, I'm gonna give this season a 100% out of 100%, which is the equivalent of an A+. Like, subscribe, join the notification squad, I will return.